The sport of mixed martial arts is still a fairly new phenomenon. Having only been introduced to the Western world through the UFC in 1993, it would take two decades for women to make their debut in the premier organization, and they've appeared unstoppable ever since. Lesser known organizations like IFC, Strikeforce, Elite XC, Bellator, and PFL have provided a platform throughout the years. But it would take the MMA world's two biggest players to create superstars. In one, it's Angela Lee, Canadian born and Hawaiian bred to Chinese, Singaporean, and Korean parents. She was young, beautiful, articulate, but most importantly, she could fight. Debuting at only 19 years old, Lee cut a sway through the competition. And when she won the Atomweight title in a fight of the year contender against experienced Japanese battler Mei Yamaguchi, her celebrity reached stratospheric heights. While new blood like Thailand's Stamp Fairtex became the organization's first two sport titleist as both the Atomweight Muay Thai and kickboxing champ. And China's Xiong Jing Nan has completely taken over the women's strawweight division crushing all opponents at that weight, including unstoppable Angela Lee. It's Lee who will always be the first queen in the home of martial arts. For a time, Joanna Young Joyjack was considered the top female fighter in MMA. After making her UFC debut in 2014, within three fights, she absolutely destroyed the strawweight champ Carla Esparza and began a reign of terror over her division that lasted two years. By the end of her title run, Joanna had the most wins in UFC women's strawweight history, landed the most significant strikes in any title fight, racked up more time in the cage than any woman before her, and equaled the record for title fight wins. By the time Holly Holm made her UFC bantamweight debut in 2015, she had won nearly every boxing title available at welter, light welter, and middleweight. Ronda Rousey had cleaned out the division, so Holm found herself fast-tracked to a title shot, and in arguably the biggest upset in MMA, had kicked the undefeated champ into oblivion to become the first fighter to win a world title in boxing and the UFC. While the preacher's daughter would lose the title in her first defense against Misha Tate, she will go down as the first cross-sport champ and a pioneering legend for women in the world of combat. Long before her chin met Holmes' shin, Ronda Rousey was the face of MMA and created a space for women to headline fights, get bigger paychecks, and make a career as a professional fighter. In 2011, UFC president Dana White was adamant that women would never fight in the octagon, but Olympic judo bronze medalist Rousey was a different beast to anything he'd seen, and it wasn't long before he changed his mind. In 2012, Rousey beat fellow trailblazer Misha Tate for the Strikeforce bantamweight title, which would later be made into the UFC belt after the organizations merged. By the time the Phenom retired from the sport for good in 2016, she had the fastest women's title fight victory in UFC history. Most title defenses by a woman in UFC history had secured every one of her victories inside the distance and was the first woman to be inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. Rousey may have lit and ran with the torch for all of women's MMA, but when her UFC tenure ended, it did so at the hands of the greatest pound-for-pound -pound champion to grace the sport. The first ever two-division women's champion and the reigning, defending, undisputed bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda Nunes! Amanda Nunes has defeated every former women's bantamweight champ to set foot in the octagon in devastating fashion. She captured the crown by beating the pulp out of Misha Tate for a round before submitting her with a rear naked choke at UFC 200. Defended the title by smashing Ronda Rousey into retirement in just 48 seconds at UFC 207. And head kicked the head kicking specialist Holly Holm into oblivion at UFC 239. 
But when Nunez moved up a division and knocked out featherweight champ Chris Cyborg in just 51 seconds, becoming the first female dual division champ in history, the Lioness solidified her spot as the greatest of all time. Pisa lá. This is about keep making history. Keep proving I'm better than all those girls in my division. Once again tonight, I prove it. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.